I should try something else. It it gave me a response, but it is a error uh, error actually. So I think there is something that is blocking me from getting into it. Maybe some MD5 uh, encryption or uh, anything. Uh, maybe they are using hash. So I have to uh, modify this code again. Let me try to do that. And I am guessing that there is a uh, little bug. Yeah, you have access to the real image here. See, you can see add event manage users. Here I can get the access to logs and the uh, also. That is uh, what we can do with this form authentication. Let me go ahead and uh, try some advanced techniques. These are the basic things. Uh, I have a uh, Acunectix web scanner built into it. So I can check for the vulnerabilities in this browser, uh, in this website, just by going to, uh, by, uh, without using any other tools. I am just, I can just do everything from here itself. So I am uh, doing a security injection test over here. Okay, one one look key from and it is showing that the vulnerability is SQL injection uh, SQL injection and uh, parameter type is get and parameter name is ID. So I will go back to the website and we will try to get some uh, something with ID. So when I am going to I can see it over here that it's index.php uh, id is equal to 4. So I will go to that page. Okay, and here I am going to try some advanced restoration techniques. And in normally when you are doing advanced restoration techniques on uh, uh, say uh, at production environment, there will be too many injection points, there will be too much tables, columns and everything. At that time, uh, it won't be easy for you to uh, count each and every columns, tables and all and uh, uh, at that time, preparation testing is going to be a little bit tough. So what I am going to do is that I am going to use Hackbar, which is a part of uh, Mandra and let me check whether it is vulnerable or not. So I am just uh, putting a code over here and I am executing it. Yeah, there are some problems over here. So uh, I am not getting the action under it. That means my code is, uh, it is getting executed. Let me go ahead and try one more screen over here. Execute. And the candidate is again different. So I can uh, I can't make sure that it is vulnerable, but it is showing some indication that it may be vulnerable. So let us uh, go ahead and try to find the columns and tables. Okay. After 
coefficients, you can see that there are over here, uh, there is a number 2 and posted by, it's not showing posted by admin, it's saying posted by 7 and there is a number over here 3. So these uh, numbers are the vulnerable columns. So I can uh, do anything over here, say on 2 I can uh, give, execute any type of SQL commands. So I want to know, um, sorry, I want to know which user uh, is actively on, uh, which user is active on. So I'll just go ahead and type user over there and I'll try to execute it. And it is showing that the current user is CMS user at localhost. And next I'll try to find, uh, I will try to fingerprint the version of SQL database used. For that I will uh, simply type version over here. See, the ver version over here is 5.0.45. In SQL injection case, yeah, you already know that if it is uh, great, less than 5, uh, there, there is no information schema, you have to adopt some other techniques. And if it is greater than 5, it, uh, the values are stored in using information schema. So you have to do uh, some special attacks based on that. So here the version is greater than 5.0. So let me uh, do some attacks based on that. So in place of version, I am going to type table name. From, it's, these are our, our SQL injection commands or information schema. Information schema about tables. So let's go ahead and execute and let's see what's the status. See, the page got reloaded and this time I got all the columns over there on the website and we have to uh, go through it manually and find what all columns are uh, attractive or interesting to us. So let's go ahead and uh, see. I think the uh, character set is not going to be an attractive one. Profiling, routines, uh, tables, table privileges, user privileges. And log is going to be an interesting, and user is going to be an interesting one. So I will just copy paste it over here. User. Going down. Host, tables, time zone, time zone name. Con contacts is going to be an interesting This is going to be an interesting one. So I have user and users. Now I want to uh, get the, now I got the uh, table names. Now let's go ahead and do this, uh, get this column details. For that I just have to replace table with column.
Now let's go ahead and change the uh, change it again. And this time I'm going to uh, replace this column name with user ID. And uh, from I, mean, I, I don't want this information to be handled. I can replace it from user. Now let's go ahead and execute it. It's saying user ID is one. That means I have the uh, it has the highest privilege. You know, it must be an admin. So now let's find out the user username. Username is going to be admin. So let's find out the user password. I'm going to end replacing it with user password. And the user password is actually uh, encrypted using MD5. So if I want to, uh, it's, if I want to uh, decrypt it. I can just copy paste it, copy paste it over here, and uh, I can simply go to encryption, MD5 menu, uh, or no, MD5 menu, and send it to uh, MD5.redmask.com, and I can get it decrypted. But uh, right now I don't have internet connection over here, so even if I'm going uh, to do that, it's not going to be, uh, it's not going to work actually. So. Uh, let's go back and export the uh, website with the normal form based injection. So I'm going to leave HTTP headers again. I'm typing some random usernames and passwords and clicking on logging in. Replacing the uh, replaying the username and password with with uh, my value. Now I have stored uh, C99 as C99 shell.txt. Okay. So I'm going to rename it as C99 shell.php. This C99 shell is a PHP shell that I can uh, use it like a, it works like a Trojan itself. So if I can upload it on, onto a website and I can access it by URL, then I have access <coughs> to the website. So I'm just going to 